How's it going, guys and geeks? Welcome back to the Geek Critique Show. My name is Dakota. Jen is not with me. Uh, she doesn't want to be spoiled, so it's just me today. I know I'm not as pretty, and I'm not as exciting, so enjoy some footage of me playing Overwatch while I rant about the BBC and Doctor Who. We seriously need to talk about Doctor Who right now, guys. And not only because it's coming back in a week, but because of the steady stream of information that's being revealed to us entirely unnecessarily. Yes, we're going to be talking about spoilers today, what it means to be a spoiler, and why the BBC's ad campaign for the upcoming series of Doctor Who is beginning to really grind my gears as someone who watches fandom very closely. I'm no stranger to leaks coming from insiders on sets of films or series, and I've seen my fair share of rumors that turn out to be true, but I've also seen plenty that turned out to be nothing more than fan speculation and or sensational headlines. But when the BBC go out of their way to spoil their own series, I have to take a moment to ask myself, why? Earlier this week, we were treated to a second trailer for series 10 of Doctor Who, which was in many ways similar to the first trailer we received a few weeks prior, but there was a certain few frames of footage at the end of it that stood out to me and just about everyone else and had fandom on edge. In said trailer, we see a few seconds glimpse of Capaldi's 12th Doctor using his regeneration energy, which is important because we need to discuss it. We know Capaldi is leaving Doctor Who sometime during the Christmas special, but that hasn't begun filming yet. So if this scene is filmed and it has any significance to the plot, which I'm sure it will, and it's from series 10 of Doctor Who, which it most certainly is, could it be that Capaldi will actually regenerate sometime during this season. Now, seeing regeneration energy outside of actual regeneration stories is nothing new for the show, so this could easily be just that, a teasing glimpse at something essentially meaningless. But we know that Capaldi is leaving, and very soon. Is it possible that they were trying to throw us off the scent for once by having us assume he wasn't going out until the Christmas special, only to have him regenerate right there under everyone's noses? That would have been great! It would have been spectacular if they were able to manage that. But then why would they show us this and expect fans not to suddenly expect the moment within Series 10 when he would use his regeneration energy, potentially even regenerating? It's so backwards, I can't even wrap my head around it. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand the BBC's draw in publicizing huge events like regenerations months in advance. It brings in numbers. It makes sense from a business perspective. A new Doctor potentially means an all-new audience. But to then tease said regeneration in something like a Series 10 trailer after telling us it wouldn't happen until the Christmas special is confusing and honestly unnecessary. I don't think that clip inclusion made anyone more or less likely to watch the series. But let's move past that trailer. It really isn't the worst bit of this rant I want to get to. So what is a spoiler? In its most basic understanding, I guess, it's receiving knowledge of something prematurely, something that would have been better left for the proper opportunity to reveal itself. And generally speaking, if the parent company or some other official source reveals information prematurely on purpose for the sake of advertising, we generally don't consider that a spoiler. Because that's what the producers want us to know going into it. But in this age of information, where do we draw the line as fans and producers? We gave J.J. Abrams flack for outright lying to audiences who asked whether or not Benedict Cumberbatch's character in Star Trek Into Darkness was actually Khan. There are some things better left secret when it comes to big films or shows. And you know what? At least he had the balls to not cave into the leaks. Lucasfilm and Disney are the greatest examples today of keeping a tight lid on spoilers. Even when it comes to their trailers, it's commendable for a company to take the time to slowly show you little by little but never enough for you to piece together the plot until you actually see the thing in question. Even the Abrams-produced pseudo-sequel to Cloverfield, 10 Cloverfield Lane, only announced its existence a mere three months before it hit theaters. I publicly lauded this move on the blog because it showed an awareness not to overhype something and to keep leaks from spoilerphobes. In an age where information is as readily available as it is today, we need better teasers and less press releases. Because you do your fans a disservice by revealing things out of turn. Now, yesterday, the BBC let loose yet another press release. One I wish I hadn't seen. And this is coming from someone who's been working his way up the ladder of breaking geek news for the past five years. This is too far and you know it. Skip ahead to avoid the spoiler. 
the BBC has confirmed that John Sims' master will return in Series 10 alongside the current master, Michelle Gomez. This is really cool, and it's something I actually saw floating around the rumor mill for a while. But for the Beeb to break down and spoil it for us robs many of those not in the know of a proper reveal. A proper surprise. That would have been such an epic thing to snake under everyone's noses. But the BBC appears not to be able to keep a hold of their own spoilers. What constitutes as a spoiler if even the parent company is telling us we should know about this particular reveal before it's shown in episode? I honestly don't know anymore. Why did they do this? Were they pressed against the wall while leaks were coming out from insiders? Did they, I don't know, wish to let taxpayers know their publicly funded programs were allocating their funds wisely? Who knows? And sure, it's not my taxpayer money. I am American. But Doctor Who is a huge international export for the company, and I've spent enough on DVDs and Blu-rays to make my small contribution to its continued success. And I feel robbed of a fantastic surprise. Hey, BBC. Remember this Blu-ray? I received it early from your sister company, BBC America. Really early, actually. About eight days before the season finale even aired, I had it on Blu-ray. I saw the finale, The Name of the Doctor. I posted a few images on Tumblr, Instagram. If you were a Doctor Who fan and you frequented Tumblr in 2013, you likely saw this very Blu-ray case floating around in the images. And it caused quite a stir in the community, which looking back, I now regret but I kept the big reveal to myself, even though it had been rumored that John Hurt was going to be featured in the 50th anniversary. And here he was, the episode before the 50th anniversary, in person shaking who lore forever. You pleaded with me and some hundred or so other people not to reveal the ending, not to reveal any spoilers, not to reveal if the doctor's name is even mentioned. Many news organizations um, actually reached out to me to pay me real money for this scoop, and I chose not to because you, you asked me not to. You actually sent me this mug as thanks, and I use it all the time, so thank you. It's come in handy. But you also sent me this little note. Oh, where is it? We blew it. You didn't. Thanks for keeping the Doctor Who season finale a secret. Cheers, BBC America Shop. Well, you blew it again. But this time, it wasn't a mistake. It was part of your marketing campaign. It was a move to bring back fans you lost who look fondly on the Russell T Davies era of the show. And I know you're better than that. Because sometimes you go down the opposite extreme. The very same year you asked me not to spoil the season finale, you went too far in that while you showed the trailer to the 50th anniversary to a select few at San Diego Comic-Con, you chose not to show that trailer to those funding it for months. But all too often, it seems it's been one huge reveal after another, which ruins the surprise in episodes that are mostly lackluster anyway. Write good sci-fi content, keep quality fans. It's as simple as that. Now, this doesn't just go for Doctor Who. I'm singling BBC out here and now because I'm particularly upset about this latest revelation. To some extent, most things are spoiled for us nowadays, whether it be in trailers, press releases, interviews with the cast and crew, or otherwise. But you know what? The less we know, the more we'll be talking about it after we see it. So if you agree with anything I've said so far, please share this video. Please like it. Please comment your thoughts. And remember, stop spoiling who. Thanks so much for watching, guys. My name is Dakota, and uh, if you like our content, please subscribe. Usually it's me and my wife. We do geeky adventures together. We're always doing commentaries and trailer reactions. And we talk about the here and now of geek culture news. So uh, do give us a follow if that's what you're into. If you like seeing talking heads talk. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much. Have a good one.